If you have a child under the age of 14, you're going to want to pay attention to this story. Governor Ron DeSantis signed a bill into law today designed to keep kids safe by making it illegal for them to have social media accounts. NBC6's Ari Adzer joins us live with what the new law will do and how it'll be enforced because it is a controversial law. Ari? It is a controversial law. It was known as HB3. It drew a ton of attention in the legislature and it passed with bipartisan support. Here's what it does. Basically bars kids in elementary and middle schools from being on social media. More specifically, kids under age 14 can't open social media accounts. If kids are 14 or 15, they can be on social media with parental permission and anybody who's 16 or over can make their own decisions. By signing HB3 into law, the governor says Florida is leading the national effort to protect kids from social media danger. With things like social media and all this, you, know, you can have a, a kid in the house safe seemingly, and then you have predators that can get right in there uh, into your own home. You could be doing everything right, but they know how to get and manipulate uh, these different platforms. And so uh, it's created huge problems. We know from law enforcement, we know from our prosecutors that social media is the primary platform in which children are trafficked, in which pedophiles pretend to being, pretending to be children come after our children. Speaker of the House Paul Renner is the architect of HB3. If I said to you that a company was going to take children, use addiction that causes them harm for profit, what does that sound like? It sounds like trafficking to me. Anorexia, self-harm, anxiety, depression, suicide. We still haven't seen the long-term effects. Florida Attorney General Ashley Moody speaking as a mom of teenagers, she said, ticked off what supporters of the law say are well-documented impacts from social media addiction. And if we cannot protect our children in this digital frontier of the wild, wild west, there is no way with their maturity level and inexperience in life they will ever be able to protect themselves. Tech consultant Rodrigo Villarreal said this legislation shifts responsibility from parents to the social media companies. It should fall on the parents to essentially decide what is appropriate and what it is not appropriate for their own kids. And there are multiple tools that today parents can utilize to restrict the use of social networks for their kids. So under the law, the social media companies can be fined $50,000 per violation if they don't verify ages. Now, the law's constitutionality will certainly be challenged in court. Florida's attorney general says she will fight those challenges, saying that this law does not specify any type of speech. It just targets the addictive algorithms of social media. We're live in North Miami Beach. Our Riyadzer, NBC6 News.